Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God, the living God, the only true God. Mamelan Banyo Navasakaya, Mamelan is Lozam, Mamelan is Tandwazam, Dianitanda. This is why I do what I do because <laughs> I love people. Look, look. I'm going to try and translate this because I want, I want it to come across in both languages. I want it to be understood in both languages clearly. Ukuba. Abandu basamakaya. Esibatanda yu utatumkulu. Okoko. Abaswelikayo. Abeti abandu abethile. Okabeswelikile. They don't become angels. Abantu kabeswele kile. Abajiki babengo tiko. Abantu kabeswele kile. Abajiki babe zingelosi. Hallelujah. So uba utandaza. Kutato mkulu wako. Uka niku koko wako. Umenze utiko wako. Utike utiko zuni lake. You must have no idols. You must serve no other gods but him. Let me say this in English. When people pass away, when people go to be with the Lord wherever they go to be, when they are, when it is finished with their bodies, they don't become angels. They don't become gods. No, that is not how it works. When people die, they don't suddenly become gods or become angels. So if for any reason you are praying to, those, to your uh, passed away loved ones, you have turned them into a god, the god that they were never when they were here on earth. How do they suddenly become a god? I just want to you know, bring you to an understanding so that you know, you, you, I, I don't want us to, 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 to fight. And I don't want us to uksilwe. I don't want us to fight about this, but I just want you to think about this logically. That when our loved ones die, they don't become our God. They don't become God. Or let me put it this way. Or they don't suddenly become a superior being that you can have access to in prayer. If you do that, you might have to consult the God who created you, who created them. Hallelujah. And find out the truth about praying to them. How God, the one who created you, feels about it. Hallelujah. This is just to, to, to bring you to an understanding without putting any criticism in, into what I'm talking about, putting any, any judgment, because that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to bring you to a, a, an understanding of that our loved ones or our ancestors, they don't become God when they die. They pass away smoothly and go wherever they are going, according to God, according to the life they were living here on earth, but they don't suddenly become God, even if they were born again, even if they were in the Lord, they don't suddenly become God or become Jesus or become as someone you make yourself to pray to, you bow down to. There's an error in that. Like I say, always say, it's impossible to understand the things of the spirit without being in the spirit. Hallelujah. This is why Jesus said himself in the book of John chapter three, verse three to five, you must be born again. He said again, I say it again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, you must be born again, be born of water and be born of the spirit. What is born of the flesh is of the flesh. What is born of the spirit is of the spirit. Hallelujah. So if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your savior, because that spirit of God, it comes through him. He is the one who ascended to heaven for the spirit of God to come. Come, hallelujah. So in order for you to understand what I'm talking about, the things that I talk about, because there are things that are related to the spirit. There are things of the spirit. Our loved ones, they don't become God when, we, when, they, when, they, when they die. We don't become gods when we die. So I wouldn't want that. Never ever worship me when I die. It doesn't matter how old I get. It doesn't matter if I die at 200 years old. It doesn't matter if I die at 150. Never worship me. Never look at me as some kind of a god because I do not become a god when I die, I don't become anything else God has told us to stay away from when we die. Idols. So I want to pray with you today and for you.
so that you'll come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ and make him and declare him your Lord and Savior. It is simply by believing in the Lord Jesus that God sent him on the, to die for you. He raised him up on the third day. When you believe this, consequently, you confess him as your Lord and as your Savior. The Bible says you shall be saved. It is unto confession with your mouth. The repeating is the confession. When I say to repeat, tell you to repeat, you are confessing. That's not just the repeating, it's the confession. The, so that makes you saved. And when you believe that actually God and raised Jesus Christ from the dead, he is the son of the living God, you will be made righteous. It is not in your own righteousness you are made righteous, but it's the righteousness in Christ Jesus so that you will no longer believe a lie that you are just, you are born uh, clean. You are not born clean. We are all born in sin. So we all need our savior so that we can also be born in the spirit. Hallelujah. To enter to that place where God uh, wants us to be at the end of our lives and also to perceive and understand the things of the spirit. Glory to God. So I want to pray with you and for you. Repeat after me with your lips out loud and your heart open. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for sending your son to die for me. I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you that you raised him on the third day. I believe he is coming back again for me. I believe you raised him from the dead on the third day. I believe he is coming back again for me. I pray that he will find me in the right place with you in the spirit. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. From today, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that cleanses me from every sin. From today, hallelujah, I am saved. I am born again. My my sins are forgiven. I will make it to where God is at the end of my life. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. But for now, I choose, I decide to give my life to God, to give my life to Christ so that I can be led by the spirit of God. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm forgiven in the name of Jesus. So the same Jesus who just received as your Lord and Savior today, Hallelujah. I'm going to ask that you lift up your hand so that he can, he can fill you with his spirit. Jesus said he'll baptize you with his spirit and with his fire. The Holy Spirit allows you to be a witness. It, it helps you. He helps you to be a witness, to tell others about the one that you have received freely, who has set you free, who has delivered you. Hallelujah. So when you get to that place, hallelujah, of being set free and delivered by God, you sure want to share that. You sure want to give that away to others. Hallelujah. So that others can be set free as well. Freely we have received. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Freely, we ought to give. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that, Lord, you will fill us afresh with your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, who died, who rose up again, who is coming back, oh God. Father, I pray that, Lord, you will fill my brother and my sister with your spirit, with your anointing once again, oh God. Oh, thank you, Father, that, Lord, you will help us to be witnesses. Father God, I pray that for a fresh touch, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will touch us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise right now. And every sickness and disease that is maybe troubling your people right now, God, we pray that Lord will eradicate it, Father God, by the power of the blood of the Lamb that makes us overcomers in the name of Jesus. By the omnipotent God, by the omniscient God, by the omnipresent God, by the finger of God, by the hand of God, by the blood of the Lamb, in the name of Jesus. I declare them made whole in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I give you glory. I give you praise. And I give you honor in Jesus, the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Ha, hallelujah. Mm. We worship you, God. We thank you. Find a church that teaches the word of God. Connect with other people that love God, that will teach you the right thing. Then you will grow in the things of God. You will not select behind. You will not be left behind in relation to understanding the things of the spirit, the things of God. This is why you are born of the spirit. Hallelujah. I love you. God loves you more.